Hey everybody! This video is going to be shot in the upright position today because I lost my selfie stick because I'm a loser and I lose everything. <laughs> anyway, so I haven't made a video in a while because it's been really, really busy because I like to work a lot and not play a lot and uh, not make videos or anything else that I also like to do. <laughs> Bills. Anyway, so I haven't been up to a whole lot lately. Basically, if I'm not at work, I'm fishing. <laughs> yeah. I learned how to get my own fish this weekend. And uh, it went way better than I thought. My friend actually just tried to like gross me out as much as he could. And like it taught first taught me how to do it in like the grossest way possible where like you just you know slit it open and stick your hand inside and like pull the guts out with your hands and I just did it <laughs> like I was like okay that's how you do it so I did it uh it's I don't know I don't I don't gross out super easily with guts and gore and stuff I guess uh like if you put like a butterfly in my face or something you know we all know this you don't don't put a butterfly in my face because I'll like flail and break out or cockroach. Ugh. Cockroaches, butterflies, and crickets. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I freak out. But guts, I mean, whatever. I cover myself in guts all the time. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just been, you know, I'm either on a lake, around a lake, or in a lake. Or the mountains. I'm going to the mountains next weekend or the weekend after that, and I'm pretty excited because the the leaves are going to start changing soon, and I've literally never actually seen the seasons change. Like, where I'm from, it kind of gets yellow, and it goes gray. And that's what I deal with. So I'm excited. I'm going to be going up, like, the Cedar Mountain area, like, past Bryce and stuff. Bryce Canyon. That's a good place to go. If you have not been to Bryce Canyon National Park, go. Anyway, so, yeah. That's what's been up. Basically, I work, 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 work. <laughs> I never get to play in the dirt, 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 dirt. <laughs> anyway, shh. So, that's what's been up. I've been working at a place. Um, I'm not supposed to say caption call. Uh, because I could get, like, sued. But it's like, you know, where people call in and then... I say everything that they say, I just repeat it, and then it comes out on the screen because of a deaf person because they can't hear, you know? So that's what I do. I get to tell people I'm an interpreter for the deaf, but I never get to use ASL. So that's what that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've just been doing that. Um, really, there's just not much else that I've been doing besides fishing and hiking. Oh, I went on this really cool canyon hike though up in Cedar. Uh, it went so much farther <laughs> than I thought that it would. And like, I mean, we went about nine miles, you know, there and back. But, you know, it's pretty flat. It's like really rocky though. Um, you know, so you gotta watch your feet. But then you get to this, you know, about five times where you just come to this like flat and it's just big rocks and you've got to climb up like 20 feet or so and I mean you know since I've been doing a desk job I have gotten so out of shape like I've always looked out of shape but I've never actually like n had a hard time doing stuff up until now that I've been at this job sitting in a cubicle like this I'm getting sweaty Ugh. Gym life. anyway <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So we had to climb quite a bit and stuff like that. And it was actually really fun. It was beautiful. I took a lot of pictures. You can look at them on my Instagram, which I will put a link to because you're going to want to see these pictures. Like, I'm super into photography, but I take all my photography on my phone because I ain't fancy. <laughs> but it still works out. Oh hey, I've been looking for this. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. That happened, but uh, my friend walks really freaking fast, and uh, he got he like on the way back. He gets impatient. He just wants to get in the truck, and I'm just like, picture, picture.
picture, let's stop, picture, let's touch all these rocks because they look like they feel so cool, but like, you know, 80% of them all feel the same, but whatever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was trying to keep up and I was getting all frustrated because, like, I don't know, I, I like to do my own thing and, uh, like, I've got a couple, I've only got a couple of friends really that I can do this kind of stuff with, but they are impatient. Um, so I don't know, I really need to make more outdoorsy friends because I'm actually a pretty outdoorsy person and that's what I'm interested in, but around here it's really hard to find people that also are, so, I don't know, that, uh, that's just what I deal with. So anyway, so, you know, we're about, I'd say, an hour and a half up the ca- not an hour and a half, a mile and a half up the canyon still, and... Uh, there's still a lot of climbing down to do, you know, and this, the climbing down is a lot harder than climbing up, in my opinion, because it takes a lot more skill to not fall down because you're going down, <laughs> so, like, you're concentrating on going down, but you're also concentrating on not going down way too fast, um, so, but, I did not hurt myself, oh, sorry guys, I, as I said, I lost myself, I think my hand is cramping, so I'm getting a little wiggly. <laughs> so anyway, so my friend says to me, be careful, you're going to roll your ankle. So of course, I rolled my ankle. <laughs> like, maybe not even 10 seconds later. And But I was like, you know what, just keep going, keep going, because, you know, I, I, when I hurt myself, I get, I tend to get, like, um, frustrated with myself, you know, and I want to keep going. Because it just, I don't know, like, like if you see it, I just get, like, pissed off that I've hurt myself. And I push myself harder after that. And to people who have seen me working or whatever, I actually, I push myself way hard. Uh, I consider it a skill <laughs> that I, I can push myself as hard as I do. So I do it. Uh, but yeah, so I roll my ankle and then maybe... Ten minutes later, I do it again, but this time it cracks, and I fall in the rocks, and like, like it, it was pretty bad, hurt, and my, you know, my friend's like, just sit down, just sit down, like, let's sit down for a minute, I'm like, no, hell no, am I gonna sit down, like, one, because, I'm like, you know, after you've hurt yourself, if you sit down, it's way harder to get back up, and we still have, like, a mile and a half to go, you know? So I didn't want to do that, <laughs> and like, you know, if, especially if it's an ankle, it, you know, it, uh, what's it, it stiffens up and it's hard to walk on after that. So I didn't want to do that. And then, I don't know, maybe a minute later I do it again and it cracks loud, like he could hear it and he's behind me. And I fall again and like, I don't even remember falling on stuff, all I remember is paying attention to my ankle and how much that hurt. But, <laughs> yeah, man, like, I had so much climbing down to do, and it was really high, and the rocks, some of these rocks, for some reason, because it's a canyon, you know, water goes down, it's so slick, it's like glass, it's, it was hard to get up. He had to push me up some of these rocks in the first place, because, like, you have to go through a smooth crack, and there's no hand or footing, so, <laughs> thankfully I was actually able to slide down those, but I'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, yeah, so we get my shoe off, my ankle's already swollen, and you know, there's there's no other option than to walk out of there, uh, you know, because nobody's going to come get you, and <laughs> like, nobody's going to bring the truck up a canyon to you, so, you know, I trooped down, and thankfully actually with the walking on it, uh, did keep it from getting so stiff, so that actually, at least that part was lucky, um, but also, okay. Oh, Hand cap, right there. Oh look, and there's a shadow now. That is so good. <laughs> anyway, so, but I was able to slide down a few of those super slippery rocks, so I didn't have to climb, so that was also nice. But, like, this, this canyon is, like, so much slate rock, and I don't know if you've seen slate, but it's like, it's like glass-ish, and it's like, it comes out in, like, glass fragments, kind of like Jenga. And, and, um, so, oh, it's really hot in here. Literally, it's over 80 degrees in my bedroom right now. I get home from a walk, and I'm just like, oh, I'm 
made this shirt today, though. Uh, yeah. I'll show it to you later. Cause... Wow. Anyway. So, yeah. So, I'm sliding down one of these rock slides. <laughs> and there's a piece of slate in my back pocket. Um, or not in my back pocket. Under my butt, apparently. And as I slide down, <laughs> it rips my pants. Big hole in my pants. And guess who's not wearing the kind of underwear that covers your butt? <laughs> not me. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. And I also happened to be up in Cedar, and I was going to be spending a few days up there for hiking and fishing. And guess who also forgot to bring on their pants? <laughs> yeah, that is me. So, there's that. And so we make it to the truck, and we have to go to Walmart so I can buy new pants. But my friend, thankfully, is nice, and has to walk behind me so nobody can see my butt. Yeah. <laughs> That happened. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I feel like people would have noticed it less if some dude wasn't three inches away from my butt at all times. Just saying. But, I mean, you know, that w that was nice. But they also did it because, and I will show you, I found this giant piece of, uh, oh, jeez, what's it called? Um, oh, I can't remember now. It's a rock. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called now. I have a lot of them. I know where to find them. Uh, if anybody wants to go hiking and pick up a bunch of these, yeah, I know where some of the big ones are. <laughs> but yeah, so that was also in my back pocket, along with my phone and some dirt. I mean, there's always dirt in my pocket stuff. So it's no big deal. Seriously, when I do laundry, I have to wash out the washer. At the, at, at the end, because there's so much dirt in it. Yeah. Anyone want to wash their jeans with me? <laughs> no? You're missing out. So yeah, that happened. And I came back, and then later that day, my leg starts, like, throbbing. And I take off my pants, which hurt. And they've got this giant bruise on the front of my leg. <clears throat> And, like, I can feel heat coming off of it. It's, like, this big lump below my knee. And it was really bad. Uh, it's, like, it still hurts two weeks later. It's It hurts pretty bad. I can't, I still can't poke it or kneel or anything. And apparently when I fell down, like, I fell, uh, you know, after twisting my other ankle, I fell on that leg and got temporary nerve damage. <laughs> in that leg. So as I'm walking on it, it feels like a numb spot and it's super weird. But if anything even like grazes it, oh shit, it hurts. Like even just taking off my pants, it hurts. I put on leggings today for the first time after that and like it just felt like I was hugging it and it oh, was so bad. But I enjoyed it. I would never, I wouldn't do anything different. Like for real. I loved that hike. I got so many good pictures. Uh, somebody from Instagram asked to buy one of them and I was like, hell oh, no. But, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Uh, that's basically, that's pretty much my favorite pastime is, you know, hiking and fishing, uh, driving, stuff like that. But it's really, really hard to find people who want to do that, you know? Like, most people I know, you know, the fishing is gross and they don't understand why it's fun. And they don't understand, like, why would you want to drive on a dirt road instead of a paved road? And why would you want to go climb hot rocks all day? I'm like, dude, friggin' A. It's because I don't like to be inside. How about that? I don't understand people who like to be inside. I don't. Why would you want to lock yourself in walls all freaking day and, like, cover, like, people put, like, sheets in their windows and stuff so they never see sunlight all weekend? I'm just like, why? That, it. I mean, to me, that's torture. Like, like, there are people in jail right now who are, like, crying and holding themselves because of, uh, what's it called? Something confinement? Solitary confinement. And you people are doing it to yourselves on purpose. No, oh, thank you. You can have that, but I'm going outside. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've been up to. It's not been much, but it's been something. That's my fun story. Did I even finish it? I didn't even tell you everything. I found a cave. <laughs> That's it. I have a lot of stories. 
of me being outside, but this video got long, and I don't think I even really said anything. Uh, well, that's not pretty. I have a lot of those. You should see my legs. I swear, every weekend I come home with, like, ten new bruises. Oh my gosh, the other week, I came home with sixteen bruises on my arm. One of them. Just one. <sighs> yeah. Because I fall down. Not because somebody's beating me. I actually think people are starting to wonder. I got called into the office at work for that. Uh, just, they didn't ask me specifically about my bruises, but uh, they just mentioned that they noticed that I've been acquiring some often at a quick rate. And I told them it's because I fall down a lot and run into stuff and stuff and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think they're worried, or something. Either that or they're nosy. <laughs> if I make that face again, am I gonna lose like, like just everything? Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Have a good night.